Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for tuning in here today for another episode with the Aquarium Project. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out and of course it's free. So that's always good. Um, but yeah, I thought today I kind of wanted to talk about something that a lot of people don't really, you know, at least the people that's coming into the shop doesn't really seem to acknowledge. And I think it's one of the best things in the world. And that is the fact that, so me personally, I can't really be casual about anything, if that makes sense. Like, if I'm ever interested in something, I kind of go all in. So, um, obviously for fish, I'm very all in on fish. I have my own shop and everything. So, that's very sort of, that's a big thing for me, obviously. But, all throughout my life I've gone like super super focused and like super super intense on things that I'm into um, and some of them I'm still interested in some of them I'm not it just depends on the actual thing itself um, but I think there's something sort of almost charming about being into it like sort of being casual so when you guys come in and you're like normal like normal hobbyists and like average hobbyists and like casual hobbyists I think that's really awesome because what I find the way that you guys look at aquariums and think about them is so different to how I do um, for me it's one of those ones where it's like I'm always kind of thinking about it or thinking about some of the fish or some of the plants or you know something like that whereas you guys can kind of detach from it and it's really it's a really interesting way to to look at an aquarium so like it's just I don't know a hobby I guess like a hobby instead of like a life um, and I just think it's so interesting like what happens all the time is like you guys will come in and be like oh you know I'm so jealous of you know all these tanks and like all these um, you know things like get into do it every day and that and then I like think about it I'm like man Imagine just being able to like just have a fish tank casually, like have a tank, devote like one hour of, of um, time per week to looking after it and that just being your experience in the hobby, I think you would enjoy it a lot and I'm going to say more I'm gonna, than me because I enjoy fish tanks like uh, you know an infinite amount I guess, I can't put a number on it but really differently, kind of like uh, I don't know what you call it, like segmented, um, not segmented, like in, in these blocks. And I think what that allows you to do is really notice change in that really easily with your aquariums. I struggle to see change like in, in for example, fish growth because I see them every single day and I look at them every single day. So it doesn't make, like you can't really tell. And of course I know that you guys do the same, but I think for, for me where I'm so intense about it is, is really different. And like when I think about things I want to do with the hobby, it's like really super intense. And I can't, I'm not going to say I don't enjoy it, but I enjoy it in a very different way. Where it's like, it's not quite the best way to describe it, but it's almost not as fun. It's more important, I guess. Um, like I'm not just sitting here dicking around with fish. Well, I am, but yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm explaining what I'm trying to say well enough, but being able to be really kind of casual and like, um, just have that being one of the things on a long list of things you do is I think really, really interesting. And I think it really allows you to enjoy an aquarium really differently. The other thing I think it allows you to do is it allows you like when you're in fish mode, you are like in fish mode you know like you can go really super intense and like look really deeply at something or then you can go back to kind of not really thinking about it and just going through the motions and i just think having acknowledging that all our experiences with the hobby is different is a really useful tool and i think it would allow everyone to kind of get more out of the hobby in general you know like um all of us would be able to enjoy the hobby in our own way um and i don't i don't think it's really helpful or useful to keep fish comparatively i'm gonna say 
So that's not really going to make a lot of sense, but what I mean is keep fish according to like someone else, if that makes sense. So like, I know it definitely happened when I was young, uh, not young, um, new in the hobby, well, young, but you know, that's not what I was meaning. When I was new in the hobby, I wanted to keep fish like, I definitely think I wanted to keep fish that other people thought were cool and that made me seem cool if that makes sense so like for example that's probably why i have penny is because seeing on youtube and stuff like oh arowana's is cool but to be completely honest i probably wouldn't get an arowana like i don't i enjoy the african cichlids more i like the oscars and that like i love penny in that but if it was just some random arowana that i wouldn't know i'm not entirely sure if i'd get another arowana and obviously that's not a problem i have to or a question I have to deal with at the moment, but it's definitely something that I would think about. Um, so yeah, it, it's quite interesting. Like everyone's experiences is different and that's okay. And I think it's so cool to be able to be casual about it. Like, for example, I've been um, really getting into the V8 supercars recently. Um, this, I'm gonna go watch the qualifying session after this, but I've been watching the V8 supercars a lot recently, but I haven't just been watching the V8 supercars, I've been like getting super super into it, like I watched um, Bathurst from 2014 the other day, well not other, other, over the part course of a week and a bit, a week ago, that's like a 9 hour race, so I like watched 9 hours of this race, because I was like so into it, and I kind of get consumed by all these things, like be it like cricket or baseball, or you know the supercars, fish tanks, um, you know motorcycles whatever um but i think just being able to have it kind of be steady and be calm is really super interesting but i also think keeping fish how i want to keep fish is important and like i am very happy i'm not i don't want to get into this mindset of like wishing and like oh be cool i, I wish that was me or whatever i just think it's so interesting to see how we all all of us are considering and experiencing aquarium keeping in a different manner and we all, the best thing is we can all get something different out of the hobby like i said in my video the other day like for me it's a meditative uh time where i can kind of like become my own head listen to a podcast listen to some music go through the motions of the maintenance some people really love breeding because it gets them so excited to see little babies all the time right whatever that may be for each person it's so super interesting so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today, and like I really want to hear what you guys' experiences of and in the hobby are. Um, and I'd love to hear if you guys get this super, super intense, like, consumed by interest thing. Because um, yeah, it's kind of weird, and not weird, but interesting and different and fun. Um, but yeah, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. I don't know if I had too much else. Um, as you can see, this is my Lake Malawi tank here, and this guy and this guy have been, uh, they've kind of sectioned off halves of the tank each, so everyone's getting a bit beaten up, so after this I'm going to be rescaping everything to break up all the territories and make everybody calm down, so yeah, that's what I'm getting up to today, but yeah, I, I really want to hear what you guys think, because I think it is super, super interesting. So, thank you guys very much, I love you all so, so much. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Bye.